What's up, everybody, and welcome to my first ever Magic the Gathering bundle unboxing. Of course, with Assassin's Creed being out and me being a big Assassin's Creed fan, even with the modern games, I figured I had to check this out and see what's in here, especially since I've been getting into Magic a little bit more and I've been playing a decent amount of games here and there. Uh, I did pick up the starter deck, so I'm already getting familiar with some of those uh, cards, but today we're doing the bundle. I also have a collector uh, one that I picked up as well, so I will do that one, but at another video, I have another stand that's coming, so I wanna wait until I have that set up. But for now, we're gonna at least see what's in this uh, bundle here and the nine beyond boosters. So let me move my phone stand out the way. Just get right into looking what's in here. Step into the history, leap into the legend. Assassin's Creed emerges from the shadows to join Magic the Gathering. Free run through the ancient locals with your favorite assassins from Altair to Ezio to Eivor and Bastion. Whip weapons like the trusty hidden blade or the spear of Leonidas and ensure your targets are history. Now take a leap of faith. The past is yours to explore. So it comes with 20 traditional foil and 20 regular basic lands, a spine down, like spin down life counter. That's pretty cool. Nine seven card beyond boosters, art, foil, royal assassin, and the card box. So let's see what we got in here. Official first one. First time opening one of these. Feel this. There it goes. Let's see what we got. I've been looking forward to this one a lot. Especially as somebody who's just been getting into magic and everything. Been playing a lot of games lately. I did do an unboxing for a Baldur's Gate battle for battle at the Baldur's Gate, I think it was. Um, I haven't posted that video yet, and I'm going to post this one hopefully today as I record it. But um, I wanted to do this first since this is fresh and the other one's like two years ago or so. But if these do well, then hey, we'll uh, we'll continue on. I'm I'm really doing it for myself, and I'm also slowly getting into deck building. I, I mean, I love deck builders, so but things pretty sick. Let's see what we got in here. So got the actual boosters right here. Looks like. Yep, there they are. And then these must be the basic lands, and then. We'll open these one by one, but let's do everything that's in here first. We also got some counters, a bunch of life counters, plus one, plus one. Nice. A bunch of pop outs here. I guess those are the art style. All right. The art covers. Oh, there's another two in here. Beyond boosters. And then here's the spin down life counter. So I didn't know that that's how it came with this, actually. I, I thought it just came with kind of these, uh, the little packs and stuff, but that's cool. I mean, it's a nice way to store your cards and everything. You know, definitely going to put it to use when we open up the, the other one. So that works out. All right. Let's start with, let's open up these first and then we'll leave the fun stuff for right after get right into it plus this will be a good test because i haven't opened anything today so these are a bunch of land cards i guess i mean i'll go quick through these if that's all these are yeah planes that's cool though I like the art on these swamp mountains forests and then how to play cool an easy one there See what we got in this guy. I did actually watch. Uh, so, one of the the people I've been watching to get into Magic, Hey Money Wubby, he actually opened up some of these very early, uh, or uh, supposedly he got them a little early. I don't know. Okay, these are a bunch of foil lands. That's cool. Um, but watching him 
was pretty cool. And I saw he pulled a Cassandra, what was it? Cleopatra that was serialized. Honestly, I didn't know there were serialized cards until I saw him pull it. So now we'll see if we get any with my collectors too. But the Royal Assassin, so that's the one foil card that we got. Cool. Throw these over here. And let's get into this. So these are all beyond boosters, I believe. Yeah, these are all beyond. So it's a little bit different than the collector booster. The collector boosters are, I believe, more expensive too, which that's the most I've ever spent. This one's hard. There we go. Whew. I apologize if I don't do great at opening these, but all right, let's see what we got. Origin of the Hidden Ones. So like we have been doing, I'm still going to look over most of these. As we start seeing repeated ones, then uh, from there we'll, you know, speed up the process. But some of these I'm not too familiar with. Oh, okay. My, uh, my wife was actually playing this card a lot while we were playing the starter deck. The Tharthic Reunion, Island, Cover of Darkness origin of the hidden ones Ooh, got a little oil lydia fi uh, fry nice can't be blocked by uh creatures greater with with power three or greater at the beginning of your end step survey x where x is the number of tapped assassins you control and a mysterious creature interesting we put the in that magic again Magic Secret Lair Duck. Okay, cool. The first one there. I'm not expecting to pull anything crazy during while opening these, but I mean, we'll see. These are tough. The heck? These are tougher than any other ones I've done before. All right, we might have to like reopen these because I don't want to be struggling on video. Don't worry, we're almost there. So, chat, if you pick these up, let me know in the comments. Oh my god, this is the. Oh my jeez. That was unnecessarily difficult. All right, we got it. Let's see what we got in this one. Origin of the Hidden Ones again. Okay. Reconstruct history. Return up to one art target artifact card up to. One target enhancement card up to one target instant card up to one. Jeez, from your graveyard to your hand. Wow. Uh, that seems pretty good. Ottawale, cool. From Assassin's Creed three or four? No, four. Yeah, he's a pirate. Assassin's human pirate. Black market connections. Propaganda, pretty cool. Roshan, she's from the new Assassin's Creed game. She was the assassin master with uh, Basim. Bobos, a target uh, token legendary creature horse. Cool. I'm I'm looking. I've been really looking forward to playing with these. To be honest, that's what I was the most excited for. For building decks and all that is getting these packs and actually playing with them. I'm slowly starting to build build my own decks and kind of like uh, modeling them off of any of the starter decks that I have been playing with. And then eventually down the line, I'm hoping to try Commander. We haven't played Commander yet, but I've watched Commander playthroughs. Tax Collector, I think this card is actually kind of good. Uh, when Tax Collector enters the battlefield, choose one tax. Until your next turn, spells your opponent cast, cast cost one more to cast or arrest. Detained target creature and opponent controls. You can now arrest and magic the gathering. Ballad of the Black Flag. Okay. That looks pretty cool. You may mill three cards. You may put a historic card from among them into your hand. Artifacts, legendaries, and saga. I love it when it explains like what that means. It's been very helpful for somebody that's a new player. Path to Exile. 
Ezio Auditore de Firenze. Menace. Assassin spells you cast have free running too. Wow. That's sick. He's actually pretty cheap to play. I mean, granted, he's 3 2, I guess. That's uh, Mythic right there. Not bad. And there's no like border or anything, borderless. Desmond Miles. Oh, I, I actually love this mission. Pretty sure that's from Assassin's Creed 3, and you're you're running on like the uh the rooftops in modern day, like 2013-ish, I think. 2012, actually. He also has menace. He gets plus one for each other assassin you control whenever Desmond Miles deals combat damage to a player. Survey survey. Surveil X, where X is the amount of damage dealt to them. Postal Piracy. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. And there's Roshan again. And I think there's one more. Yep. This is an art style card with an Avor on it. Pretty cool. Avor Wolf Kiss. I always thought these were neat. Especially, I, I got a ton of them when I opened up uh, the Baldur's Gate one. So we've got... Got five more, including this one. I'm noticing you just gotta you just gotta rip it up. Almost got it. Come on. There we go. Once you get a grip on like the front, then it just comes right open. Try to hold it out. Man, these uh these are tough cheats. Even with it open, it's still struggling. Heal. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Assassin initiate. All right, that's a good one. Yeah, I've I have seen a lot of those towering viewpoints. Same thing with that. It's basically just a defender. Fatal push. I haven't seen this one. Destroy target creature that has mana value of two or less. Swamp, Sean and Rebecca agents. That was funny. Uh, Wubby pulled one of these and was talking about how imagine making a commander deck from one of these. I mean, you could do it. Sure. Why not? But apparently, yeah. So if you play this card, you can find the animus and the animus was one of the ones I saw as potentially really good or, or versatile for a lot of other uh, decks out there. All of the first civilization. You and target opponent each draw two cards. Exile target artifact and opponent controls. Each player chooses three non land permanents they control. Destroy all other non land permanents. Wow. Aveline de Grand Prix. I think she's the. Is she the one from. Assassin's Creed Liberation. I never finished that one because I think it was like the mobile version. Well, that's pretty cool. The foil. And find the assassin. Like mini games. Man, this makes me want to go back and play some more Assassin's Creed again. I haven't played. Uh, continued on with the series in a little bit now. And I do plan on doing a full playthrough of all of the... There's a little spoiler there. Of all the games, I played the first one and I also published the full playthrough of the first one recently. Alexios, Demos of Cosmos. Trample Alexios uh, attacks each combat if able, can't be sacrificed, and can't attack its owner. That's very interesting. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player gains control of Alexios. What? Untaps it and puts a plus one, plus one counter on it. It gains haste until the end of turn. Wow. That is interesting. So it just goes back and forth. Huh. Loyal Inventor. Wait, let me move it. Vigilance. Enters the battlefield. You may search for your library for an artifact card. Viewpoint uh, synchronization. Classic. Put your library for up to three basic land cards to reveal them. Put two of them back on the uh, onto the battlefield shuffle tapped and the other into your hand then shuffle. Sorry, I'm kidding. Read a little bit too much at once. Spear of Leonidas. 
Whenever a quick creature attacks, choose one. Full rush to gain double strike. Summon, create Phobos. We saw that earlier. Legendary 3 2 Red Horse. And or Revelation. Discard two cards and then draw two cards. Mary Reed and N. Bonnie. And we're getting a lot of foil like mythics here. Pretty cool. Draw a card and then discard a card. All right. And Xiao, Xiao Jun. She is the new one that's going to be in Assassin's Creed Red. One of the characters you can play as. Looking forward to it. And then an Assassin token creature. Get a lot of these in the uh, starter decks. We're making good pace here. We got three more to go through. Man, this makes me nervous for the collector ones because those are going to be very... I'm assuming they're going to be tough to open up to. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hemlock Vile. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card and lose one life. Postal Piracy. We saw that a little bit earlier. Ezio Brash Novice. The 1-1. One, one, nice. Planes. Rest in Peace. When Rest in Peace enters the battlefield, exile all graveyards. Whoa. If a card or token would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Ooh. Xiao Jun, we got the legendary creature of her. Leap strike as long as it is this one the same as the last one? Let me actually see. I'll try to post a, a picture on Twitter. Okay, yeah, it is the same. Just different art styles. That's still cool though. You can get so many like this. Tap two untapped artifacts you control. Deal one damage to each opponent. I really like the foils here. Ooh, is that Altai? Oh, no, it's Rashawn again. <laughs> and then the art style card. That's pretty cool. Anything else? Nope. Been a little bit faster at doing these. Let's see if I can actually properly open them. Perfect. Perfect. I just had to adapt to how thick the case would be or the uh the pack itself would be a stack target creature you control phases out treat it as treat it and anything attached to it as though they don't exist until your next your next turn interesting hunter's bow when a hunter's bow enters the battlefield attached to a target creature you control that creature deals damage equal to its power to up up to one target creature you don't control Equipped creature has reach and ward. I think uh, that's in one of the decks too. Bleeding effect, classic. At the beginning of the combat, on your turn, creatures you control gain flying until the end of turn. The creature in your graveyard has flying. The same is true for first strike, double strike, death touch, text proof, indestructible, lifelink menace, reach, trample, and vigilance. Jeez. That's kind of crazy. What's the cost on that? Hold on. The four? Okay. Interesting. Basim. Whenever you cast a historic spell, draw a card. Basim can't be blocked this turn. This ability triggers only once each turn. When he deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one all. Arbaz Mirror? That's cool. The foil one? An Aya of Alexandria. Menace lifelink. Whenever a historic creature you control deals combat damage to a player, create a 1-1 one, one black assassin token with menace. Cool. See if I can... Uh... I need to start going through these Like when we get like a foil one. Put it off to the side. Hey, we'll just take a quick look at these again. There we I didn't realize that one was a foil. And then we'll go through the final one in just a second here. That. Another one too. One it. 
right i think we're back at the propaganda school all right let's open up the final one i'm just gonna put these off to the side here this was the deck that we just opened or the pack sorry if i feel a little bit unorganized it's kind of like on the fly all right you know what i'm opening these up because i've been i've been excited and it took me a few days like i got them a few days late because i know this came out on friday and i'm doing this on monday so but i didn't want to open it before doing it on video so eagle vision i'm familiar with this one yeah this came in really handy uh, and that free running has actually been pretty useful. Uh, it really helps with that second main phase when you're after combat and being able to just play, pay a lower cost. I mean, going from a five to a two, it's pretty crazy. Brotherhood Regalia. I saw that this one's also really good, potentially. Equip creature has ward two. Is an assassin in addition to its other types and can't be blocked. Equip a legendary creature and equip to a target creature you control. Equip only as a sorcery. Go for the throat. Destroy one or destroy target non artifact creature. That's Connor Kenway right there. Or I don't know. I'm not going to be able to pronounce his name correctly. Rat Raton. The Animus. Here's the one that Sean and uh, Sarah, I think, Sean and the other card wanted the beginning of your end step exile up to one target legendary creature from the graveyard with a memory counter on it until your next turn target legendary creature you control becomes a copy of the target creature card in exile with memory counter on it activate only as a sorcery that's i, I want to say that's pretty crazy because you can just make a copy of it for one turn and it's not like it can get destroyed or anything unless it get rid of that card because uh, it's just exiled so loyal inventor this one's pretty cool saw that one earlier though Ezio brash novice we got another one here yeah some of these look awesome then a treasure token and that is all of them so let's see which one we got loyal inventor i can't wait to to go through these and start putting them into decks and stuff separating them and then also separating them by color and then cost and then slowly combining the few to build a 60 card deck and then eventually a commander deck hopefully i mean that's the plan so these were all the big pulls that i guess you could say we pulled we got for right now with the first bundle opening not too bad i feel like a little bit better than i expected we got some cool ones that i wanted to get anyways honestly if i can get any card it's going to be the one that for connor because i'm a big assassin's creed 3 fan still and he's one of my favorite characters in assassin's creed but i, I really hope we get one for altair too of course and then maybe an Ezio one with uh in his uniform but that's gonna be it short and sweet um if you guys ended up enjoying this leave it a like on it really helps out a whole ton if you have any suggestions or if there's any bundles or something like this in the future let me know um i'm probably gonna do not really like collectors every time that's too expensive unless if these somehow some way just start popping off and it actually makes sense uh, but for something like assassin's creed I'm excited. I haven't opened it yet at the time of this video, so I may be doing that next, or I might be, I don't know. We'll see, but uh, I'm probably gonna wait until I get the new stand to do that, so maybe tomorrow. But for now, that is it. Again, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments if you've been checking these out, or if you have any suggestions at all. If you have any suggestions for learning magic or just anything at all magic-wise, you'll feel feel free to drop it down there. Join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. For now, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.